Hey guys, Cube Hamster here, and welcome to a new video. I would like to use this video to um, first say that for the last couple of weeks, I've been getting a lot of tweets and and like comments about uh, people that have worked very hard on their uh, robot designs, and I, I've seen some very amazing designs uh, so far. Um, but in order for me to keep my sanity, I would like to first of all today officially open. Um, entries for the tournament and uh, what I need is for the people that want to join to download the world file that you can find in the description of this video and to use this uh, world file to submit their robot to me uh, via email. Uh, this is just to keep things like a little bit clear for me. Um, the uh, Starting area is 64 by 64. Uh, that is kind of like this area here, not including this obsidian line that's actually outside uh, the area. Um, but the idea is that you, you you place your robot, probably you want it to be as far away as, as the front as possible. Um, and you want it centered, or at least like that is one of the requirements that you center your robot. It doesn't have to be exact, but you can't have your robot start in the corner. That's the uh, that's the thing. Uh, and furthermore, and this one's very important, uh, this is in the rules as well, uh, you will get certain starting items, uh, for instance, uh, like a flint and steel that's unbreakable, and you will get featherfall boots and some ender pearls and potions and food and stuff. Um, but you're also allowed to make uh, emergency repairs uh, and, and such and like have extra TNT, etc. Uh, which is what this double chest here is for. I have filled it up with stuff now, uh, just as an example. Um, but you can fill this up with movable blocks and with uh, minecarts. Um, and when the uh, battles start, uh, you will be you know opposite against another team that's 150 blocks away. Uh, but you will probably need you know supplies to make emergency repairs and reload your TNT cannons and such, etc., to deal with incoming missiles. Uh, but like all these blocks are allowed, uh, obviously other like movable blocks as well. Uh, bedrock is not allowed, furnaces are not allowed, like only movable blocks and minecarts. Uh, all the rules that your robot has to follow will be, uh, there will be a link in the description to those. Um, if you submit your robot, I will test it in the sense that I have to see that your robot can actually move with all your weaponry. Um, so if you want to help me make it possible to know where your like start stop switch is, what you could do is either you know place an obsidian in the place where your uh, like start mechanism is, or you just put a sign there that says break to start and then when I break it I can see that the whole thing is moving and stuff um, but yeah so starting area let me just think is there anything I'm missing uh, yeah in the description of this video there is a couple questions that you need to fill in when you email me your design first of all I really want like you it's your robot you have to give it a cool name and I want to I want to know the name of your robot I want to know who created it um, I want to know who is going to pilot it because it's not necessarily the creators that pilot their robot. Uh, and you can actually you can give uh, two names uh, of substitute pilots uh, whenever, for whatever reason, someone can't like is going on vacation and can't make it to uh, to any of the matches. Um, it's important though that you can't compete on two different robots. So if you have a robot, you can't be a substitute on another robot just to keep things fair. Uh, is there anything else I'm missing? Yeah, and there's a couple questions. There's uh, questions like, um, like, did you read the rules? Does your robot follow the rules? I hope the answer is yes. Um, and there's the question, uh, are you okay with your robot becoming like publicly available uh, after the tournament? And obviously, I would like to show it off in a uh, uh, sort of showcase video where I just show like the competitors, nothing, nothing more than that. Um, and then the final thing, and this is purely optional, but I know some of you guys are very artistic, 
And if you want to make a logo for your robot, you can also put that in the email. Uh, and if it has like a you know transparent background or just you know have a logo or whatever, uh, then I'll I'll actually put it in the video. Uh, so yeah, I think that is it. So the rules, the link to the rules again is in the description and the download file for this world is in the description as well. And I'm looking forward to seeing all the crazy, all the craziness uh, that you guys have come up with. I've already seen quite some craziness. Um, this sign up will be open for uh, the, the next five days. Uh, so up until midnight, the 19th of, of July, you can, uh, 19th of July. I'm not even sure what month it is now. The 19th of this month. <laughs> this is very bad. The 19th of this month. That's the last day you can uh, you can enter your robot. And if there is something wrong with your robot, then I'll correspond with you. Like you can still change stuff about it. Anyways, guys, I uh, hope you uh, enjoyed this video and um, yeah, looking forward to the see stuff. So see you guys. Bye bye.